drawing the moment influence line for point C. Place a hinge at C. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. The left segment of the beam turns counterclockwise. The right segment of the beam turns clockwise. So according to the influence line, the maximum negative moment at C occurs when the load is at the left end of the beam. And the maximum positive moment at C occurs when the load is at C. To determine the magnitude of the negative moment, place the load at the left end of the beam and analyze the beam. This gives us a bending moment of negative 250 kilonewton meters. To determine the magnitude of the maximum positive moment, place the load at C and analyze the beam. This gives us a bending moment of positive 125 kilonewton meters. Drawing the influence line for point B. Place a hinge at B. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. The right segment of the beam turns clockwise, but the left segment remains undeformed. According to the influence line then, no positive moment develops at B. And the maximum negative moment at B occurs when the load is at the right end of the beam. To determine the magnitude of this negative moment, place the load at the right end of the beam and analyze it. This gives us a bending moment of negative 250 kilonewton meters.